Question 7 says a rotating wheel requires 6 seconds to rotate 25 revolutions. Its angular velocity at the end of the 6 second interval is 96 radians per second. What is the constant angular acceleration in radians per second of the wheel? So the first thing we're going to do is write down what we know. So we know that time is, is 6 seconds. And there are 25 revolutions, so the the um, the angular displacement is equal to 25 times 2 pi radians. So that, that will be in units of radians. And we know that the the final angular velocity is 96 radians per second. So in this case, we do not know what the initial velocity was. And if you uh, look through it really quick, it will not make sense if, uh, if initial velocity is 0. So we have to set up our equation first. And our equation is going to be that the, the, final, um, the final angular uh, velocity minus the initial angular velocity divided by the change of time is going to equal angular acceleration. And so we have we don't know what this is, so we have to basically solve for angular acceleration. And the way we're going to do that is by using the definition of average acceleration. So average acceleration is is the initial plus the final plus divided by two. Um, and and if you multiply that by time, it equals the the uh, angular displacement. So um, now we just got to move everything over to solve for uh, the initial um, angular velocity, the initial angular speed. So we'll, multi we'll divide by t, so we'll have theta over t, and we'll multiply by 2. So 2, two times the angular displacement over t minus, minus the final angular velocity or angular speed. And this is going to equal the initial angular speed. So then we can plug this answer right here in for initial angular speed. So we'll get the final angular speed minus, we're going to, we're going to use parentheses, two, 2 angular displacement over t minus final, uh, minus the final angular speed. And so we're going to, this is like, saying this minus right here is like saying that there's a negative 1, so we're going to distribute that negative 1. Um, it's over t. So we're going to distribute the negative 1, and what we get is the final angular uh, speed minus 2 theta, uh, 2 angular displacement over time plus final velocity. So the negative canceled out there and turned into a plus. And then we can combine this and this, so we get two final two times the final angular speed minus two over the angular displacement over t. All of that over t equals angular acceleration. So I'm going to kind of cordon this area off. So we're we're only looking at what's below this this blue line, and that's our equation. We can just plug in. Uh, the answer is so t uh, in, in my problem was 6 seconds and the uh, final angular speed was 96 radians per second the, um, the angular displacement was uh, we, we wrote down over here two, 25 times 2 pi which is uh, 157.08 so 157.08 and then times Two over six, so we we basically have done away with that, and that we can put two times there. We can just uh, work out our our answer. So two times ninety six is one ninety two, and we subtract that from one fifty seven point zero eight times two over six. That is fifty two. 52.36. We divide all of that by 6 seconds, and the answer is 23.2, uh, uh, somewhere in between um, 2, 3, and 2, 7. I got 2, 3 the first time, 2, 7 this time, but it's a rounding issue, and it's radians 
per second squared.